What's up you guys and welcome to another series of Foodie Mama PH together with our special guests Justin Bratton and Claire Jedrick. We're gonna explore Justin's culture as he grew up in the border of Mexico, Texas. We're gonna have a taco feast and some shots of tequila. I just wanna stare at it for a little while. With the creamy guacamole. Wow. And then we're gonna explore Claire's food culture as she makes a classic English breakfast together with her mom's recipe of lotus pork rib soup which is really comforting. It's like a Sunday brunch thing, very chill and laid back. Did you guys have breakfast? No, we didn't. No, not yet. Everyone's just waiting for me. <laughs> so much pressure. You ready for breakfast? <laughs> And then we're gonna finish it off with Filipino food. I'm gonna have Justin and Claire try the Filipino pulutan or beer match together with some Filipino beers that are available here in Singapore. We're gonna have a feast and they're gonna be surprised with some of the dishes that they haven't tried before. Why? It's what? It's calamari. So stay tuned until the end of the series. And before we get to that, let's get to know more about our guests. Here's Justin and Claire. Hey, I'm Claire Jedrick. Hello, I am Justin Braden. I'm in the media, I'm a presenter. I also work in uh, marketing and media. I have my own company with my husband called The Film Dispensary. Um, we're both known for motorsport and for lifestyle. I'm also a mom of two kids, a boy and a girl. I'm an actor, TV host, filmmaker, and writer. I host Asia's Got Talent. Uh, I've hosted different travel shows and docu-series on Channel News Asia. Generally, just out and about, having a good time. It's got to be live presenting for motorsport. It is so in the moment. You never know what's going to happen. And I used to present a lot with a GT racing series. Basically, I would go to different countries around the region or internationally, interview drivers, get in the pits, and just uh, catch the action as it's happening. And it used to be shown on uh, Fox. Wow, um, it's been really quiet the last two years. It's actually been great because I've been able to spend time with my kids. Basically, I lived out of a suitcase, and every two weeks, I was out of the country for presenting, or either that for my husband's racing, he's been racing for 15 years, or I was in Malaysia doing my testing for cars and for racing. I got involved because of karting and because of commentating for the national championship. To be able to commentate, you have to know the sport quite well, so we ended up having this idea that I could put a package together, get sponsorship, and go race. Racing. Favorite show I've done, well, not all of them were that talented, but they're all great. <laughs> they're all fun to hang out with. And I got to host that show with my best friend, Alan Wong, which, you know, when you're working with your best friend, always a good time. Um, confused. So I'm British born by passport. I'm a Singapore PR. I was born and raised in the UK to about the age of 12 and then I moved to Singapore. My dad is actually half Polish, so hence my surname is Jedrick. Apparently it's pronounced Yedrik. My mom is Singaporean Chinese with roots to China. So I was born in Texas on the border of Mexico, Brownsville, Texas. Grew up in Dallas and Austin. My mother is from Myanmar. She was born there way back in the day when it was Rangoon, Burma. She's actually Burmese, Indian, and a bit of English. And then my father is just a good old boy from Texas. Westernized culture with sprinkles of Asian. I mean, as a child, I remember my mom making some food like sweet sour, and I'd be like, what is this weird food? As I've gotten older, I think my tastes have changed and I'm a lot more open to it. Definitely lots of like bold food, roasted chicken, but my mom did make like a lot of rice as well. But I'm definitely a sandwich person. Sandwich and pastas, like I, I keep it quite basic. The culture I grew up in was obviously quite Texan, but also a bit of a mixture with uh, Latin American culture as well, since there is that proximity to the border and that proximity to Mexico. And I felt growing up, my family, since they were all kind of from Brownsville on the border, identified a lot of ways with Latin American and Mexican culture. And I think that's heavily influenced me as well, the, the food and the music that I like. And then obviously you've got all that Texan influence, the country music, the steaks. You know, that cowboy shoot him up culture, that's very much a part of me. I also identified a great deal growing up with the Burmese, Myanmar side of me because of my grandparents. Uh, my grandfather would always tell stories about 
Burma and leaving there and fighting World War II and my grandmother would make a lot of Burmese and Indian food that I would go and enjoy. Yeah, so I identify with just these three kind of cultures that are kind of operate independent of themselves and together I guess they make up my own world philosophy in some sort of weird way. Oh, it's simple and it's, it's never changed. It's like a really nice piece of like fresh bread with just a thin layer of butter where you can taste it on your tongue as you bite into it. And it's got to have a piece of cheese and just a really good strong cup of tea with just milk no sugar. My comfort food is, it's just tacos. <laughs> Pastor tacos, barbacoa tacos, chicharron tacos. I mean, this is what I used to have all the time back in, in Texas. These are my go-tos. Like, I have those, and I, I just feel like everything's gonna be okay. Ooh, that's a heavy question. Favorite? Oh my gosh, I didn't see this one coming. Man, I love Nasla Mark. Um, oh my gosh, what do I do? One minute, 37 seconds later. You know what? I'm gonna go with something which I always get. I love having that cracked eggs with kaya dipped in kaya toast and having like a te tarik or like, like the Singapore coffee with a condensed milk. It sounds boring, but it's the honest truth. It's just chicken rice. I just, I, I don't know. It, it's simple, it's good. It's reasonably healthy. I, I, I'm a chicken rice kind of guy. I don't need to have complex dishes to be happy. I, I grew up on doll and rice that my grandmother used to make, so chicken and rice, I, I can do chicken and rice all the time. Ooh, oh, I've got to think about that one. It's a good question. <laughs> I'm not fussy, but favorite hawker, I would have to say... I mean, there's some authentic ones, and then I go downstairs, the hawker stores, which are like in your food courts. They do a, a legit siobak downstairs. They do some really awesome places downstairs. You pay a bit of a premium, but it's great at IAM. I know locals here are going to scream blasphemy for saying this, but... I lived for a long time next to Newton Circus, and so that's where I would go for local food. And so I do identify a bit with that particular establishment, even though I know, I know, Newton Circus is overpriced, and the food quality is not as high as other hawker places in Singapore. You gotta get outside of town. I know, I get it. But that's where I went, that's where I had all the cold beers, that's where I had the chicken rice. That was, that was my spot. What are you gonna do? I would be a cheese pesto pasta. If, if I was a dish, what would I be? I'd be tres leches. Because I'm not just one milk. I'm three individual separate milks, all sweet, but also all very, very special. And I like to think that I also melt in your mouth. I mean, you guys, follow me for who I am online. I'm kind of unfiltered mother person. Come check out this video. It's kind of the first time I've done something like so impromptu and, and I've been in my house to show something about my family because a lot of people actually don't know about me. We've got lots of projects coming up with robotics and AI with the film dispensary so come check us out at that as well at oddsod.com. All right, all you foodie mama fans, thanks for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed watching myself and Key eat up all this Mexican food and drink those reasonably festive beverages. Guys, what am I up to? Well, I've got a YouTube series coming out where I'm gonna hang out with a bunch of kind of Singaporean influencers. They're gonna show me some different Singaporean type things, so look out for that. I actually don't know what we're gonna call it yet. Maybe Texas Boy in Singapore, no idea. I've got a film coming out that's gonna be released that we shot here in Singapore. The short film should be dropping sometime next month. I don't know what else is going on. There's stuff, there's stuff happening that I can't quite talk about. I'm legally obligated to not say anything because I signed my name. But there's things, they're happening. Just follow me on the gram. I'll let you know when I can. All right, all you foodie mama fist fans, now I'm slurring. <laughs> Please keep this in. <laughs> 10.30 in the morning and we're just drunk, slurring, simple, basic words.